This is the workshop number two, uh, focusing on energy and environment. Um, I'm Nobuo Tanaka, uh, the ex executive director of the... We have six panelists. Um, you know uh, them, I don't explain uh, to you, Olivia Bell and Ali Zeroali, uh, Leila Benali, uh, Richard Cooper, Cosmin Gida, and Tatsuro Masuda. So we will talk about uh, climate issues, uh, but uh, this morning we had very interesting uh, plenary. The Roran Fabius and uh, Patrick Puyane made a very interesting introduction for us about the role of uh, government, state, uh, and how the ambition must come from the leadership. And the issue of the future of the coal is very interesting one. Uh, certainly, renewable energy, nuclear, how can we use advanced innovation technologies? Uh, that's certainly the issue. I will use my slide, and before starting, each of us will make some seven, eight minutes, uh, the initial remark, and then open for the uh, discussion. But uh, could you make a slide of mine, uh, please? Yes, this is uh, uh, my contribution to the group. Innovation for Crew Earth. This is a forum created by former, I mean, current Prime Minister uh, Abe five, uh, five years ago. Uh, it is uh, consisting of the uh, energy-related people at the, the steering committee, and it is exchanging uh, views and information and making international links of experts for, for techno uh, technological innovation for the sustainability. Um, this year, we had uh, just a meeting uh, about a week ago, and uh, about 1,000 people participated from 70 countries, and I'm the chairing of this steering committee. So I just want to say the, the short word, what had happened there and what was the message. Um, this is a picture of uh, this ISEF group and uh, another two groups which concurrent back-to-back uh, uh, -back, uh, 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 held in, in Tokyo. One is the TCFD summit. TCFD is Task Force for Climate Financial Disclosure, started at G20 by the Mark Carney, the central banker of the UK, and Michael Bloomberg started uh, for the G20 countries about disclosing the risk, financial risk of the corporations for the investor. So Japanese uh, government promoted that substantially in the last about a year, and uh, there are 199 Japanese corporations signed up. So the financial sector's pressure is getting very strong. So this ISF is that the very back together with uh, this TCFD group, uh, we made a, uh, let's say, a contribution, and we made a meet meeting with Prime Minister in the, the Prime Minister's office, and uh, remind him of how we should move. And he urged us, by the way, uh, calling for much more uh, serious uh, uh, effort. He said it should be the unconventional and this continuous innovation is necessary. And uh, in the sessions, there are many different, I mean, uh, uh, say, uh, issues are treated, but the subject of this uh, ISEF was bending down the emission trajectory by innovation and green finance. Because uh, the geo uh, CO2 global CO2 emissions are uh, increasing at about 2% per year, and uh, which is in line with the long-term historical trends uh, since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. That means the gap of uh, this trend and uh, global goal of uh, net zero emission by 2050 is widened every year. So enormous effort is necessary. So ISEF uh, 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 do a lot of things, but uh, how to bend down the emission trajectory with all possible measures, including financial or 
new technology, etc., is the, the critical issue. Um, I, I have did a lot about uh, uh, the, the, the roadmaps, and this year's roadmap was decarbonization in the industrial heat sector. Industrial heat is a very uh, tough area, so using more CCUS or hydrogen, biomass, um, electrification, and all possible tools are used to reduce uh, the, uh, energy uh, CO2 emission from steel making or cement, etc. cetera. Uh, of course, uh, top 10 innovation, there are many different uh, kinds of uh, uh, technologies in a commercial scale from, or from the research and development stage. Uh, we pick up several of these innovative technologies and, and uh, participants voted who, which are most likely technology. So, so these top votes of participants. Another message, which is, this is, this is interesting, this is the uh, infographics of the, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is a top 10 innovation, I'm sorry. And this is the infographics um, uh, from the, uh, this uh, meeting. And, and of course, from now, we need immediate peak and vigorous decline. So Bob Slay was, uh, taking up, showing how quick we have to do. And another point which I really uh, raised is the role of women in the climate change mitigation. Um, climate change is not gender neutral. Uh, women are much more uh, harshly hit by the climate change, especially in African countries because farmers are more always more uh, women and, uh, and fetching the water with climate change, uh, much more effort are uh, required. On the other hand, women can do a lot to change the policy by voting, by becoming uh, business leaders and changing the business model. So women's role for climate change mitigation could be much more stressed. So gender issue <laughs> and uh, climate issues should come together. That, so, uh, so for the financial sector, PCFD is a green financing, means climate lens investment. So gender lens investment should come together. That is one of the uh, points which this group has discussed and uh, recommended. Um, I, I don't want to go too far, but uh, IEA always say, uh, revolution has happening in many fronts, and one in the U.S., two in the solar power is the cheapest in the future. The third is uh, the China's green revolution, and fourth is digitalization. But important fifth revolution, which I want to add, is this demand-side-driven transformation. Uh, because uh, PCFD, uh, through PCFD, the money goes to more sustainable companies. And they are, in a way, user of the energy. So if these companies try to be more and more sustainable, you know, this may cause the structure of the supply. Uh, IEA or government always thinking from the supply side, <laughs> but demand side driven transformation may change drastically the structure. And another example is RE100, Renewable Energy 100 corporations. These are the list of corporations, um, but uh, major uh, corporations like Apple, GM, BMW, if they require their suppliers to do the same, and it is the case, uh, maybe those companies who stay in the supply chain of the major global corporations will use only renewables in the future. And this may create a huge challenge for the struc supply structure of the energy. So energy uh, transformation could be driven much more by the users rather than supplier. 
what the government. So this is one of my uh, points which I want to raise to Roland Fabius point about the role of the state. State should kind of prepare the incentives or financial schemes or standards for the disclosures and let corporations or users decide the future. This is one of the message I want to uh, share with you. Another one is that uh, uh, IEA's uh, energy uh, demand uh, prospect shows that uh, it's not easy to see the peak demand of oil happens. But uh, if demand side uh, change uh, happens quickly, maybe peak demand happens much earlier. So that is what Saudi Aramco is concerned. Um, I told you about this last year, I guess, but uh, uh, peak demand of oil may happen much, much earlier. I talked with uh, recently the Chinese experts and they say peak demand of oil in China may happen before 2025. It's five years from now. Um, and peak demand of a uh, peak emission of the CO2 may happen even 2022. That is what Chinese say. So their strategy is uh, using more renewables and reducing oil and gas import from Middle East, from Russia, and from United States. It's, this is geopolitical strategy of China, but at the same time, it's sustainable uh, energy uh, policy. So this is very interesting. To help uh, those uh, producer and uh, uh, or gas oil exporters, one way is using more hydrogen. This is a very common subject of ISEF and uh, G20 that uh, uh, to make green oil, green gas, only uh, hydrogen with CCUS uh, may be exported or used. So hydrogen could be still costly option, but uh, Japan has been promoting use of hydrogen, but China is taken up very seriously these days because of the extra uh, generation of solar and uh, wind could be stored as hydrogen. So as a storage, hydrogen may be used much more, uh, let's say, uh, substantially in the future. So I stop here in my uh, presentation about the, this uh, kind of contributions from the ISEF to you. And uh, let's uh, start uh, the each other, uh, the individual uh, panelists to present their case. I will take up Olivia Appel first and then uh, Leila will follow, okay? Mm -hmm.